There's my ring! Where the hell has that gone? And my car piece securely attached is the ring. Look, can you see it? That is mental. Oh my god! <laughs> Make sure that really is yours. That's pretty nice. My hands have been in view the whole time, but in my back pocket over here, I have my car keys. On my car, it's very securely attached. It's rather like a brick. I believe it will be yours. Hi, I'm Dave Bonsall, and this is my Ring Flight Revolution. Now, if you're familiar with Ring Flights, this works in pretty much the same way. But unlike other ring flights where the, the gimmick and the mechanism is housed inside of a leather key case, this one is all housed inside a car key. Uh, this model is uh, a Mercedes, but the key itself comes with 13 different kinds of logo. If you're not familiar with the ring flight, I will put the car keys in my back pocket like uh, this. The clip here will then go onto my belt loop. You will then borrow, borrow a ring from the spectator clip it on, uh, all the moves are described in the DVD. Uh, when you let go of the ring, it retracts and you go into your back pocket, you pull out your car keys and then you show them your ring, you've created a miracle. This ring flight though, unlike any other one, uh, well at the time of filming anyway, uh, is the only one in the world that locks in place once retracted. So you pull it out to the side, that releases it, and once you uh, release the ring, it goes in, you can now hand the keys to the spectator, keeping hold of the, uh, the carabiner clip here, and that will then lock in place. So to release, you pull out the side, and once you hold it like this, it's then locked in place. So you have a peace of mind that the spectator can take off the ring without the, uh, uh, the magic being exposed like that. If for some reason you had a spectator who was particularly uh, dodgy, a bit of a heckler, then you would hold your uh, finger on the top key here, that permanently locks it in. There's no way that spectator can then pull that ring off. So uh, again, you um, pull the keys out, put it in your back pocket, attach the clip here to your belt loop, and you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, the key, as I said, comes with 13 different kinds of logo. Um, there's various ones from Mercedes, BMW, Volkswagen, they're all listed on the, on the website. It also comes with uh, an Espina clip. Uh, this is a clip that is on the departure gimmick. Uh, it's been requested by a lot of people, so I now supply this free of charge with the ring flight. And you also get a, a slightly posher looking one like this. And the standard one it comes with is a standard lobster clip that opens with this little lever, like so. So to load the ring on, you just uh, hold the clip like this. The ring slides over it, uh, difficult to do standing down, and it goes on like that. Um, it's a very simple move. All the instructions are on the DVD on how to perform it, uh, all the handling and anything that could possibly go wrong with the, uh, the handling of the, uh, or, or the performance of the routine. Now, car keys by the nature uh, are very tough. Um, these are genuine car keys. I get them from the manufacturer themselves. and. Um, because the, the car keys are designed to be used every day to be carried around in people's pockets, they, they get banged around a lot, they are very tough and resilient. And uh, the internal parts of this uh, can all be fixed or replaced. So as long as you don't damage the outer shell of the key, it should last you for many, many years. I'm so confident that you like this and of its resilience, of its uh, um, ability to uh, to, to withstand the wears and tears of regular performance that I offer a two-year warranty with every single one. Now, unlike other car keys, uh, there are two other car key uh, ring flights out there. There's the Departure Gimmick and the uh, Rinky Dinky. They are mass-produced in a factory, I presume, in China, and um, they're just uh, there's no attention to detail with them. These are all handmade by me. This is why they're more expensive. Every single one is made by me in my workshop. It takes two to three hours, and I put a lot of care and attention to every single one. Every one that goes out, uh, I would be happy to use myself in my performance. So it's not mass-produced. Uh, it is a handcrafted gimmick. And uh, as I said, because I'm so confident of it, I offer a two-year warranty with each one. Now, if you open up the key like this, you can then get into the actual key itself. Now, one of the things I wanted when I designed uh, a ring flight was it to be maintainable. The, uh, the ring flight, uh, so the rinky dinky and the departure gimmick, you can't get into them. So if the line broke, it snapped, yeah, that's it. it, it's no good anymore. Uh, if you wanted to oil it, well, you couldn't. Um, so here you can get inside it, you can oil it, I recommend oiling it at least every uh, two to three months if you perform regularly. Uh, that helps keep it smooth and silent. 
uh, and it would also help it last longer. And if something was to break in here, it can all be fixed. That's the whole idea of the Ring Flight Revolution. It should last for years. So inside there's the reel, and I have lots of these reels. So if something happened with that, I mean, it is possible uh, that some way it could break. Uh, it wouldn't be my fault. It's that whoever manufactured the actual plastic of the reel, uh, there could be a, a, a slight fault in it. So if it was to break, I could send you in a reel. Uh, if the spindle itself was to break, I could send you a new spindle. Or you send it back to me, and for two years, I will fix it free of charge. Uh, after that two years, then I would charge you a small amount just to uh, to fix it and for the return postage. Uh, to put it back together, it's very simple, like this, and the uh, bottom half goes on. Flip key goes in. It's a genuine flip key. Um, they're all cut. Uh, so yeah, it's um, that's the ring float revolution. Uh, the line itself is about 60 centimeters long. Uh, it's made from abrasion resistant fluorocarbon. It's what the sea fishermen use to fish over the sides of the boat where there's corals, um, barnacles on the boat, where there's sharp objects. So it's very, very uh, resistant to, to abrasion. I've been using mine about two years. I've never had a problem with it. It's never broken. Uh, I don't know anyone else out there that I've sold them to over a thousand so far uh, to people all over the world, including David Copperfield, Darren Brown, lots of professional members. They use it all the time and no one so far has ever had a line break. Uh, the swivel here is all attached um, very securely and it's resined in and uh, the way it works, this retracts into place and that will then lock there like that so the spectator, as I said, can then take the ring off themselves with complete peace of mind. Uh, if you have any problems with the Ring Flight Revolution, please do contact me, David Bonsall. Um, the email address is info at propdog.co.uk. Any problems at all and I will help you out with that. Uh, as I mentioned, it does come with a DVD. The DVD explains all the handling of it, anything that can go wrong in performance. It describes how to maintain it, how to look after it, how to oil it. If any issues go wrong with it, it'll tell you how to fix it. As far as I know, I've covered everything in that DVD that you could possibly need to know. So uh, that is The Ring Fight Revolution by me, Dave Bonsall. I hope you have many years of enjoyment with it.